We've come to this place today to warn you from the Bible. We're not here to preach about what we would do with the Sodomite community. We're here to tell you that yes, Jesus does love you. You all talk about the love of God. The love of God was manifest on the cross of Calvary and for your sin and for my sin. It's only when we categorize the sin in Romans chapter 1 and begin to identify the sin of Sodom, which is the most tolerated, petted, pampered sin in America. Because here's what Isaiah 58 said. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, cry out loud and spare not. Amen. We don't want you to go to hell. That's why we're here. That's why we're warning you. That's why you're, we're telling you that there's no Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is your only hope. Hey, Lord, we thank you for my friend, I know there's a God in heaven. I know that put something in you to do it. I want your door is not right. My friend, even very thank you to you. My my friend, if you were not born not that way, my friend, you were not born a uh, homosexual. You were not born that way. God did not put that in you. My my friend, that is a perverted choice. I'm not something you're born with. A man that's born black can't help it. He's born that way. I was born white. I can't help it. I'm born that way. And the my friend, you a choice for you. I use clothes in that lifestyle. And I got good news for you. I got news for you today, my friend. God will save you if you repent. My God will save you if you repent and you sin and from your wickedness. And my friend, God will also reach you to hell if you want to. But my friend, hell, or the day we're here to warn you. And we're here to warn you, my friend. You don't have to go down that road. And you don't have to follow that person you followed him through. But my friend, you can go on your own accord, my friend, and repent unto a holy God. And my friend, you must repent or you will perish today. My friend, the Bible says in the city of the man wants to die, and that's the death of the judgment. And my friend, every man, a woman, boy, and girl, we will have an appointment with death. And my friend, every one of us will die one day. And when you do, you'll stand before your maker, and you'll stand before God. And my friend, that day you'll not be holding up your signs, and you'll not be a man in pride, my friend. Let me tell you, pride goes before destruction. Yeah. Let me tell you, my friend, there is a broad way, and you're walking on it. My friend, the masses, the broad masses are going that way. And my friend, the one day you'll see that God, and that God, my friend, that you say is tolerant of sin. And my friend, that same God will be casting sinners into hell, my left and right. And my friend, every one of those sinners, he did love. My friend, but that love, my friend, will only take you so far. But my friend, you must repent and turn from your wicked ways. The Lord will torment day and night, my friend. There's not a moment to breath. There's no relief. I want you to get there, my friend. Let me tell you, at the day, and that is the best it's going to get for you. My friend, this is the best it will ever get for you today, my friend. Unless you get saved by the grace of God. I'm talking more than mere religion. I'm talking more than just being something more or some club or some group, my friend, unless you're born blind, my friend, born again, my friend, you'll never walk into the pearly gates of that city today, my friend. Only those have been saved by the grace of God I guess to go to heaven. Nothing that defiles, my friend, will get to enter in. My friend, you must be clean and holy and righteous as Jesus is. My friend, he shed that blood not for you. He shed that blood for me. My friend, but he's not going to drag you kicking and screaming into that place. My friend, you're big and bold today. And the one day, my friend, that smile, all that laughter, all that cheering, my friend, will be done away with. There'll be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yes, there'll be a racket. Yes, there'll be screaming and hollering. But it'll be from the page and the torment of our everlasting fire. My friend, you have a choice. My friend, you have a decision to make. If you've been confronted with truth, every person is confronted with truth. Let's make a conscious decision whether to accept that truth and repent or reject that truth and suffer the consequences of a poor God. My friend, there is a God in heaven. And my friend, the Bible says that he's angry with the wicked every day. And my friend, today, God is not smiling on this. My friend, God is not putting his approval on this, my friend. You can rest assured there's going to be a payday someday for America. My friend, God, have mercy on America. Our God, have mercy, my friend. Our God, help us in this day and age we live in. And for this cause, God gave them up at the vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. It's against very nature. My friend, even in the New Testament, everybody talks about, well, that's the Old Testament. That's the Old Testament. My friend, I'm reading 
the New Testament, the very uh, words of God. They gave up that natural use. My friend is against uh, nature. Uh, but he goes on to say this. He says this, who changed the truth, my friend, to a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. He goes on to say, for this cause, God gave them up to final faces. Tell him, preacher. Go ahead. The natural use preach it. That which is against nature. Yeah. And likewise, also yeah. the men, leaving the natural use of a woman, have burned in their, their lust one to another. One to another. Yeah. The Bible declares that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We've come to this place today to warn you from the Bible. We're not here to preach about our ideologies. We're not here to preach about what we would do with the Sodomite community. We're here to tell you that yes, Jesus does love you. You're correct in saying that Jesus loves me, this I know. But that same Jesus that loves you died on the cross for your sins. He died on the cross for your sins and for my sins. Let me start out by saying that heterosexuals will probably populate the majority of the space in hell, not homosexual. Me, but I almost went to hell not as a homosexual, but as a sinning heterosexual. You see, the Bible said that all is sin to come short of the glory of God. And it's amazing to me that nobody's in an uproar about Romans chapter 6. The Bible said the wages of sin is death. It does not specify the sin. It just talks about sin in general. Nobody's upset about the Bible talking about that eventually all sinners die and that God destroys all sinners in the lake of fire. It's only when we categorize the sin in Romans chapter 1 and begin to identify the sin of sodomy, which is the most tolerated, petted, pampered sin in America. And I'm going to tell you this, it may be petted and pampered by the government, it may be petted and pampered by society, but it will not ever be petted and pampered by true God-called preachers who know the word of that is a tolerant of homosexuality, a tolerant of sin in general. My friend today, Amen, it says here, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over. This is the third time in the book of Romans, chapter number one, that said God gave them over. He's been long-suffering this a country. He's been long-suffering on a sinner. My friend, he sent his son to die on the road rugged cross for your sin. You want to talk about the love of God. The love of God was manifest on the cross of Calvary uh, for your sin and for my sin. And my friend, he manifested that love. Let us remember today uh, the Bible said when the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on all those that know not God and will obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul said repentance toward God and faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, we must repent, friend, because we broke it, but God's holy, and my friend, God is holy, and God is just, and God is righteous, and he will not compromise his holy uh, This is not a shaming us, I'm sorry. But he's told us some people who are living in sin. Friend. We're glad you spend your whole day coming over here and be with us. Let's do the gospel. what God preach about sin. You are told the cross of Calvary when Jesus Christ, the Holy Son of God, who was the sick son of God, he didn't have two fathers. He was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. Of the Holy Son of God. I'm telling you, friend, Jesus Christ is the only hope. You need a Savior, friend. And you need to realize that you're a sinner. You are born a sinner. My friend, for all is sin and come short of the glory of God. You need to get honest with God. Honest with yourself. That's the only hope you have is in the Lord 
Jesus Christ, he shed his blood on Calvary to save your soul from your wicked sin of sodomy, my friend, and God will have mercy if you repent. Jesus Christ himself said, except you repent, he shall all Christ and the Bible says, my friends, you talk about love, you talk about don't preach hate. You're most, uh, you're most hateful people I've ever seen. Those who try to say for what's right, and the Bible said, woe to them, they call good evil and evil good. Put light for darkness and darkness for light. You're worshiping the God of this world. Your master is a devil, and the less of your father you will do, because you are a sinner, my friend, you're an enemy of God, and you will stand in judgment for one day when God brings an end to this thing. Oh, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, and God's been long suffering in on America. Don't come, friend. Long suffering is long, but it is not forever. Here a while ago, a little ten-year-old boy holding a sign. Now don't look at the boys. Amen. Talking about teaching him about homosexuality. God help this nation. God help America, my friend. When our our nation, hey, our nation that needs the Bible in the school. And they need more God in the school. Know what America suffering now? She suffered the judgment of God because she's turned away from God Almighty. Oh. 